Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. In this video, we're going to outline an example of a rates of change problem. Uh, it's a word problem involving a stone dropped into a lake and the rate at which um, the circles made by that stone are traveling. So let me give you the problem. I'll write it out. Um, a stone is dropped in a lake. creating a circular ripple that travels outwards at a speed of sixty centimeters per seconds. Find the rate at which the area within the circle is increasing at three seconds after the um, stone was dropped. Okay, so take a minute, pause the video if you need to, to write this problem out. But what we have here, a stone is dropped circular ripples are created traveling outwards at a certain speed. There's an area at a given time within, that, within the circle formed by the ripple. And that area is changing in time. Okay, It's getting bigger. We want to find out at what rate that area is changing three seconds after the stone is dropped. So that's the problem. Okay. So let me maybe draw a picture. Okay, so maybe at zero seconds, okay, the stone is just dropped. At one second, say, um, there's a small circular ripple. At two seconds, as you know, it's going to be a little bigger. And then at three seconds, it's going to be bigger again. Okay, so let A of T denote the area within the circle at time t. Okay, so for example, this area here, so the area of this circle equals a at time t equals 3. Okay, now what you can see is that at a given point in time, the area is changing, it's getting bigger. So we want to know the rate that this area is changing at the instant of three seconds after the stone was dropped. Okay, that's going to be the derivative of a of t at the time when t is three. So we need to set up an equation for a of t. What should this equation be? Well, we know the radius is also changing in time. Okay, so the radius here is something smaller, and then it's getting bigger and bigger again. Okay, so this radius is changing in time. So we're going to make another function, r of t, which is going to represent the radius of the circle at time t. Okay. Now I'm going to erase this picture above. What do we know about the radius at time t? Well, they give us this information that the ripples are traveling outward at a speed of 60 centimeters per second. So since the ripples travel 
at 60 centimeters per second, well, this is talking about how quickly the radius is, is traveling. Okay? Um, we know from this that r at time t is going to be 60 centimeters per second times however many seconds we have since the stone's been dropped. Okay, so that's the radius at time t. And then what else do we know? Well, we can take the derivative to get the rate at which the radius is changing. Okay, that's going to be 60, which is what we were given. It's telling us how quickly the ripples are traveling. In other words, how quickly is the radius changing. Okay, um, so let's write an equation for a of t in terms of r of t. We know the equation of a circle. So what we get is a of t equals pi times r of t squared. Now we need to find out the rate that the area is changing based on the rate that the radius is changing. So this involves essentially implicit differentiation. Okay, so on the left hand side we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to t. Okay, so here the idea is to differentiate with respect to t. Okay, and what you get is a prime of t on the left hand side, that's the derivative with respect to t, is, well here we're going to have to use the chain rule, so it's going to be 2 pi times r of t, then multiplied by what was in the brackets the squared. Okay, so that's times r prime of t. Okay, so what's a prime at 3 seconds? It's 2 pi times r of 3, so the radius at time 3, times r prime at 3 seconds, so the rate the radius is changing at 3 seconds. Okay, we can plug all these values in up top. What we get finally, a prime of 3. Okay, I've erased the values, let me remind you. r of t was 60t, and r prime of t was 60. So a prime at 3 is going to be 2 pi. r of 3, plug 3 into this formula for r of t here. 60 times 3, and then r prime of t is just, a, it's always 60, so this is times 60. Okay. And what you get when you multiply everything together is this value here. 21,600 pi, and the units are centimeters squared per second. So it's how quickly the area given by centimeter squared is changing per second. Okay, and that's our answer.